What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and Microsoft To Do, and we're going to look at a brand new action just released for Microsoft To Do and Power Automate, which is Get A To Do List. Now, if you've watched my previous series on Microsoft To Do, there are only a few actions and no triggers. Recently, Microsoft have updated it to allow for or to add in a bunch of triggers and a bunch of new actions, and this is a new action. There was a previous action which was list all to-do lists, and this one is specifically about listing a specific list. So let's take a look at how it works today. So I'm in Power Automate. I have my flow here, and I've got a trigger which is when a to-do in a specific folder is updated. Uh, we're not really going to worry too much about this. I'm going to click on New Step, and then in the search bar we're going to search to-do. We'll choose the Microsoft to-do business connector. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we see this one that says get a to-do list preview. Now this is in preview, which means it's a new connector, it's a new uh, action or a new trigger uh, that allows you to do something. This may change before it goes into general availability. There may be some issues with it. Um, it's a great time to jump in, try these things out and feedback to the product team so they can make all these things better and squash any bugs before uh, people start generally using them. So I'm going to choose get a to-do list uh, and then it's asking me for my list. So I can actually choose a list um, from my to-dos. Um, so I've got four lists. I've got power automate list, I've got tasks, test PA list today and this is a list. So the task is actually the default list. So if I go over to uh, to-do, um, I have three custom lists which is this is a list, the power automate list, and the test PA list today. But I do have this task list, which is its own uh, separate list, and this is the default list you get in Microsoft To Do. So if I choose that, for instance, if I go and I choose tasks, I can trigger this. So if I, I'm just gonna run this from a previous uh, run. We'll run and we'll hit save and test. Uh, and it'll run through. And what it'll do is it'll just go find that list. So it doesn't bring me back a lot of information, it just brings me back the ID of the list, the name of the list, and if it is the default one or not. In this instance, it is. So it says is default and equals true. And that's fine. So we can do this with other things though as well, is we can um, specify in a custom, uh, a custom item. So from here, we have these lists of things but you wouldn't want to do that programmatically like you may want to uh, trigger something and then get the name of the list to then um, use that later on and in in a flow to do something so in this instance what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit add custom item and then in this to-do list here I'm going to use the dynamic content and what I'm going to look for is parent folder identifier so click that and click OK and then we have a custom item in there. So this one is uh, when when a specific folder is updated, so the this is list, when something in that folder is updated, we're going to trigger that and then we're going to pass that into here uh, and we're going to pull back that detail, those details. So we'll test this one out, we'll click test, and this time I'll perform the trigger action. Click save and test and we'll go over to the this is a list list. It's easy for me to say, uh, and we can go in here and um, maybe I'll just create a new task, say new task, uh, maybe just go in and you know add a note to it, this is a new note. Uh, and then we flip back to Power Automate and we can see that this is thinking about it. Um, at the moment it may just take a couple of minutes to, to run through. Uh, and we just need to be a little patient. Uh, this is the part of the video where I'm always uh, always a little impatient and go back and re-trigger it and do all the things, which, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna do anyway. And then it doesn't really make any difference and I go back and then it's worked. Um, there we go. Just need a little bit of patience, uh, which I never have. So. In this one, we can see that it's pulled through that this is a list. So this is the one that we triggered up here. 
it's come through, it's triggered, and it says is default false. So this is not the default list, which is that task list originally. And the name is this is a list. So what you could have here is you could, um, when things are updated in, in specific folders, you could pass through the uh, the name of that folder, uh, and you can say, you know, there's been an update to this item, there's been an update to that item, there's been an update to this item, or this list um, from or an item in this list. So that's where this could be useful is basically getting out the name of that list, um, or if we need to, um, you know, pass this information somewhere else. So uh, as always, I like to know what you guys would use this for. So if you've got any ideas on how you'd use this, or if you're already using this, um, I know this is only recently come out, but maybe you're already uh, jumping on the train and trying to uh, use this already, so let me know in the comments down below what you're using this for. If you did like this video, if you could like it and share it with a friend, it'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.